Hi, welcome back to fondant, fondant sculpting at the Davenport Public Library. Um, last week we made the pig elephant snail and that was so fun. This week we are going to make the octopus, which is actually the easiest thing that we are doing this whole session and it's probably the cutest. So that's what we're doing today. I don't know where to put it so we can still see it as we're working. I'll put it right there. Okay, so you need to get your block. And if you wanted it colored, I hope that you've already colored it. I don't know if you want to make a blue one or an orange one or, or what. I'm going to go ahead and do mine white. So you want to take out your block of fondant. And you want to work it a little bit just to get it uh, more pliant so it's easier for you to work with. And then we're going to take out just a little bit of fondant. Not a lot, probably, oh, about that much. And what that's for, if you can see around the eyes and then where the mouth is, we're gonna put a little circle so that it's easier when we use our toothpick to put the, to put the eyes and the, and the little mouth in there. So that's what this little piece is. <clears throat> and then you wanna take your big block and after you work it so that it's, so that it's pliant, we're gonna, kind of shape it into an oblong shaped or a rectangle. <clears throat> and I would think about about that big. So about as big as the palm of my hand. Or maybe a little bit bigger. And then when you get it to about the size that you want it, you want to kind of squeeze it in the middle because you're going to separate the head of the octopus, which is going to be this side on mine, from the tentacles, which are going to be on mine on this side. <clears throat> so you have a head, and then you have all the legs. So you will take this part and you're going to smash it down. Because those are going to be flat. And you see how the, how the shape of this is? So that's kind of what we're going for here. And we want it a little bit wide because we have to get eight legs out of it. And don't make it too thin because you're gonna you're gonna work with those. So you want it flat but not too thin. And I know last week our our session was really long. This week it's gonna be pretty short because this this guy does not take a long time to make. Okay. And you can decide how big you want the head to be and what shape you want it to be. And you can kind of, as, as it's on here, you can just kind of shape out that head the way that you want it. Okay. So these, these feet, these legs. Okay, here's what I have. Every time I do that, I squish up, I squish up what I'm working on. I just squished up his head. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is cut him and cut his legs, his leg piece here in half. Let's see how he did that now. It's just two pieces. And from there, we'll cut the four legs on each side. And notice as you go out, they get smaller just because of the way that we laid this out. And that's okay. Oh my gosh, my outside one is very, very small. Because mine is just too small, I am gonna squish it all back together. Don't you love working with fondant? If you decide you don't like something, it's okay. You just start all over again. <clears throat> okay. Uh, 
Okay, I think I like that better. It's a little bit wider because I need to get all those legs on there. So again, right down the middle. And then four on each side. And don't make them too thin or you won't be able to work with them. And if you make it too fat, um, you won't be able to get all your legs in there. My outside one is still a little bit small, but that's okay. We can work with it. Okay, do I have enough legs here? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. So that's what we have. Okay. From here, we're going to take the outside one first. And we're going to kind of take that leg and we're going to smooth him a little bit and shape him. And then once we get him so that we're comfortable with him, then we're going to start twirling him. We're going to roll him around and you're going to go up. So you're going to bring um, the tentacle up toward the head. And you're going to roll him all the way up to almost touching his head. Okay. Once we get that first one, we're going to do that the same with all four on this side. So we'll take the tentacle and we'll kind of shape him a little bit. And then we're going to roll him up. Hmm. I think I could have done with a smaller head and more tentacles, fatter tentacles, but that's okay. This one here is kind of a long tentacle. How are you doing on your legs? Are they coming out? Don't forget, if you don't like it, just squash it up and start all over again. And remember last time when my pig turned into an elephant? So if you get too frustrated with your octopus, you could go with a fish. Okay, I'm curling up my legs. Okay, once you get the four done on one side, let me see if I can hold this up. Then we're going to start on the other side. Okay, so there's my four on one side. And now for the other side, again, we're going to start on the outside and we're going to roll it up. So in the middle, you're going to have two that are both rolled up. I'll show you. And that's what that will look like. So I'm rolling it up. Have you been working with fondant besides this class? You know, now that you know how, you can make all sorts of fun cakes and cupcakes for birthdays. Maybe for Halloween, you could make, you could make bats or pumpkins. You could dye your fondant orange and make, make jack-o'-lanterns. or you could dye it black. I don't know if there's black food coloring and make bats. And you know, um, at the store, you can buy fondant already pre-colored. I don't know what colors that they have. What we're using here is Wilton, <clears throat> Wilton brand, which they sell at Walmart and Joann's and you can get it on Amazon, you can get it all over the place. <clears throat> and that comes in all sorts of colors. But there's other kinds of fondant too. And you can, if you go online, you can get a recipe to make your own at home. It's a little bit different, but it's the same. 
it's the same kind of idea. So if you run out and you want, really want to make something, just go online and, and look up the recipe and maybe you'll have all the, the ingredients that you need at home to go ahead and make it. And then you can make it whatever color you want. And also, I think the stuff that you make at home is tastier than the stuff that you, that, than this. And you can add flavorings if you want. So if you have, for instance, a lemon flavor at home, you can make lemon flavored fondant or vanilla or peppermint. Peppermint would be fun. You could make fondant candy canes <clears throat> and you could make some fondant red and some green and you could um, and leave some white. You can make candy canes. Okay. So here are my eight legs. So my legs are done. And notice he's a lot longer. He has longer, skinnier legs. And that's perfectly all right. <clears throat> so your octopus will have its very own personality. And now I kind of like, I kind of think that I would like to see how my legs don't quite go up to my head. So I think I'm going to take my knife and just kind of score lines in it. I'm not going to cut all the way through. I'm just adding some detail. There. I'm happier with that. Okay. So we have our legs done now. And now we're going to add our eyes and our mouth. So we get that little extra piece that we had. And we're gonna make some little circles. And make it just a little bit bigger than your eyes. So if you're using the mini chips, like I am, they don't need to be very big. If you're using regular size baking chips, you want it a little bit bigger. Or if you're using, I don't know, Skittles. It'll be even bigger yet. And you can put that wherever you want your eyes to go. You do want them to be the same size. Okay. Now I'm going to use a toothpick to do that. But a skewer is going to work a little bit better because it's bigger. And then you just, like we've done on the other projects, you just take your um, your toothpick and you make a hole in it and then you can slide your eyes right in. <clears throat> so there's my eyes. He's starting to look good. You know, if I want to make these shorter, I'm just going to squish them up a little bit. See how I'm doing that? I'm just pushing this up a little bit. Because I thought it was just too long. There, I'm happier. I'm happier with that now. And that's the thing about working with this. It should be making you happy. It should not make, be making you frustrated or annoyed. It should be making you happy. It's when you look at it, it you, should, you should be smiling. Because that's the whole point. That's the whole point of all sorts of things. All the, all the classes that I do at the library, like when I do the sewing programs or any of the cooking programs or the craft programs, it's all about... Um, making. It's all about being happy. Okay, so now I have the little dot that I'm going to turn into his mouth. So I'm going to squash it on there and I'm going to take my toothpick. And there that is. And now I have an octopus. Now, 
If you want to add detail, you can take your toothpick and you can put little um, designs, little suckers on your legs. I'll do one here. You don't have to, this is just one of those detailed things. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, that one that I did. And if you want to, you can dip your toothpick into food coloring. So if you wanna, even if, let's say you have an orange octopus and you want to add red suckers, you can get some red food coloring on your um, toothpick and then you can add red spots on it or blue or whatever you want. So that's our octopus. Good job, you guys. And again, like every week, I would love to see your creations because this is, this is so fun. Um, just pop them up into the comments and I will take a look at them. And then we still have, what we still have left is the fish. The fish, which is, which is really fun to do. With this one, um, in the instructions that I saw online, it had a little candy in between its eyes. So, so if you have a little candy, you can put that on there. And then we have the folded elephant. So that's what we have left. So I will see you next week.